Hi, I'm Nalini, and I'm here to talk to you about February 2024. We're about to head into an entirely new cycle. Truth be told, we've already been there in different places, different ways, different dimensions, but there's a huge inception taking place now from Embolc, which is astrologically on the 4th of February, and the Lunar New Year, which is the 9th or 10th, depending on your part of the world, that week, next week, as I'm filming this, um, it's just sparklers. As you think about the Lunar New Year parades all over Asia, the sparklers and the dragons and the lights and the colors, or Diwali, think about those celebrations. It's all about a resurgence, if not a return, of the light. And the light within us, the celebration that we each are, I've talked about that central heart space, that core of light that's within each of us. Well, that's about to be altered in a very, very big way. And is this bad? No, of course not. I mean, one person's healing can be another person's horror show, but this is all in the mind. And what is happening is think about a wall of light, a wall of water, seas on the move. That is what is beginning. We're starting to see it in January and after the solstice in December, we saw the waters collect, the light, the energy collect, kind of moving back the way that the sea does right before a tsunami is going to hit. Well, January was a little bit about here it comes and we can start to see the alterations and we want to stay off that seafloor potentially, or if we are, we want to just relax and let it grind us into whatever is next. But this is about the cresting of the wave moving through this year. It's not just this month, it's the entire year. And there are many astrological alignments that are assisting this. And there are many more experienced astrologers than myself who will tell you all about it on YouTube. This is about energy. I see cycles of energy. And this wave, many will call it the sacred feminine, the divine feminine wave of light. In the traditions that I studied, this was known as the invincible force. Now, I'm not talking the kind of force that's opposite power or any of that kind of stuff. No, this is something that will not be denied, that will move forward, that will change everything, that is changing everything. And isn't it about time? Aren't we ready for this alteration, for this recalibration, for this healing, if you want to call it that? And before everyone gets really, really excited about, oh, it's divine feminine energy, that rebalancing needs to take place. Yes, it does. But could we get off the gender thing? Regardless of preferred pronouns to which everyone is entitled, we are all assertive and passive or receptive energies. We choose because of biological imperative on this world to call that masculine and feminine. We all have all of these energies and what is happening is a recalibration, an undoing, a regenerating, a revitalizing, a reweaving of our wholeness, our wholeness as beings, where all of these things are expressed and hopefully in more sustainable, more supportive, more cherishing ways for each of us and all of us. So will there be wailing and gnashing of teeth? Possibly because those programs and patterns don't want to let go. They're terrified. So having compassion for those within ourselves, the parts of us that don't want to die. Everything does here. So, you know, but having that feeling, that heartfelt feeling for those places within ourselves, that will help move us through this particular month, this particular lunar cycle. We're heading into the new moon soon. I'm so excited about this year. We call it a year. Isn't that weird? It's like calling a tree a tree when we look at the most magnificent being that it is, or 
any other physical manifestation. But as we are moved through this, Gaia is shifting and our bodies shift with her. Our awareness shifts with her. And the more conscious we are of Gaia, of the earth, of nature, of what truly supports and sustains life, on this world, the easier, smoother ride we will have through this big, big isn't even the right word, this monster wave of invincible force. In the Hindu pantheon, this is the goddess Durga who purifies everything in her path. We can think of it that way. It's fun to think of it that way. She's a particular friend of mine. But these morphogenetic fields are things we project just like a calendar year. We say, oh, it's this and it's this. It's a way for us to make sense of the nonsensical, of what is ineffable, of what cannot be labeled and defined. So what if we stop doing that? Just stop. And do we have to speak about things in a certain way? I suppose languages are fun, but letting ourselves flow this beautiful liquid crystalline surge that is going throughout what we call 2024 in the Gregorian calendar. It's called other things and others. We're moving into a wood dragon year. Well, what is the element of wood? It grows. It sustains life. It produces containers, manifestations for life. And dragon is a symbol for electromagnetic flows of energy. The ley lines are dragon lines, the lines of energy, the meridians within our bodies, within all of life. And these are enlivening, becoming larger, waking up, one could say, and bringing true awareness out of dormancy and into our lives, our ways of being. And may we be that in wholeness from the heart as much as we can in any moment. Is this going to be easy? No. Is it going to be convenient? Certainly not. Is it going to be wonderful? Yes, absolutely. And may we all be part of this wave, ride that dragon, whatever, however you want to play with it. These are images. But may we be that with love and peace and harmony and mostly compassion for ourselves with a huge transition that it is a privilege to be a part of on this world at this time. So have a great month and we'll speak soon.